Hi, it's James from Hidden Depths Coaching. Uh, we video link today. Young Maximus is joining us today. So listen, uh, what, what do I want to talk about today? Let's let's talk about one thing, right? And it's fear. You know what what is fear? Uh, fear is fear is your imagination when it's undirected. And faith, well, faith is your imagination when it's directed. Both of them are, are not real. Fear is not real, or neither is faith. So it really just depends on how you actually direct your imagination. And a lot of times we're directing our imagination towards fear. Just let me explain where fear can take you to at a very, very, very quick pace. Well, as soon as you start to feel fear, you'll start to feel a, a feeling of feeling a bit of overwhelming. And that can open up a bit of disappointment. You know, disappointment can either be about, you know, you're disappointed in yourself or you're disappointed in what somebody else is, you're disappointed in another person. So I just want you to understand that, that this is, if you want to start catching your fear, you want to look out for the disappointment bit, because that's where it starts to take so many different angles, right? The first route of disappointment will take you down is you'll start to doubt yourself. You know, and after you start to doubt yourself with that disappointment, it can take your place of blame. Do you know what? Doubt yourself forever. So then you might start having blame. From blame, you can go to so many places. Discouragement, anger, revenge, jealousy. It, it all goes from there. It's all outward feelings. As soon as you start to doubt yourself and get to blame, you really went outside yourself. And that can end up leaving you in a place of feeling powerless. And remember, all of this has came from fear, right? And then unlocking a bit of disappointment. It can also take you down another place which creates a lot of anxiety. Once you get disappointed in yourself or disappointed in somebody else, then you can start to feel, you know, really worried. Really, really worried for yourself and then that worry can leave to a place of feeling really unworthy. So you kind of jump between this, one minute you're dead worried about yourself and it's meant to feeling unworthy that you're actually worried. And this is what can build up this, this anxiety that builds up inside you because it's, you know, you're suppressing your emotions. When you're at the other side of it, you don't normally get anxiety when you're blaming or getting angry or, you know, really doubting yourself that anxiety isn't there and it switches at the other side. And then disappointment can take you a third way where, you know, you start to feel like this point, so you say, well, you know, if this is the way I am, then I'm going to act up to it. So that's when you go and sabotage a lot of what you're doing, sabotage the person that you're becoming. So just, I just want you to think about it, and I want you to start strutting that right back. At one time in our life, we've all felt that disappointment. You know, if you can cast your mind back to being like, even in a child, you know, when your parents were disappointed in you, it was a hell of a lot worse than when they were angry at you. But it all came from disappointment. See? So that's where you want to start catching it. You want to make sure that you don't feel like you're a disappointment. You know, and this is where responsibility comes in. Once you start to feel overwhelmed about anything, this is where you need to catch it. And if somebody's, you know, as you say, has disappointed you, well, you don't know their story. You don't know what got them to treat you that way. So you can only take responsibility for yourself, right? So if somebody's disappointed you, then take responsibility. You know, it's your life. You need to catch it. You need to be more faithful and drive your life forward in the way that you want it to go. Not feeling fearful. And as it all comes back to feeling not good enough from disappointment. So if you can if you can learn to catch that quickly, you know, as soon as that fear, as soon as you start to feel a wee bit overwhelmed, because sometimes these disappointments are years old that you've never ever really dealt with. So the, the way to start dealing with them now, the way to exercise that faith is by practicing it. So imagine like fears away down here and faiths away over here, then, you know, I get to be really fearful, you need to be really faithful to get yourself out of it. But the more you keep practicing that each day, developing that mental, emotional muscle, then fear ends up just being this wee nudge that just pushes you forward. But we all experience it. Because fear is that imagination just running away with itself. It's your imagination not directed. And the quicker you can grab that and take responsibility and say, listen, you know, I'm not a disappointment in my life. There's so much things I can do. You feel content, hopeful and optimistic with what you've got. Then from here, start looking at what you want to do and who you want to become. A lot of people are disappointed because of old bosses that they didn't value in the first place. And they gave them a you know a bad report about what they've done, and then they feel like a disappointment. But what I just clearly want to get that word in you, that word of disappointment. Remember when you were a child, it's a horrible experience. So just find out what you're attaching yourself 
why you're saying you're a disappointment. And catch it quickly with responsibility. Own yourself and then move forward. Focus on the things that you want, not the things that you don't want. Okay? Listen, this is James from Hidden Depths Coaching. Uh, seminars coming up in a couple of weeks. So I know all the tickets are sold out. So I can't wait to see everybody there. Okay? Thanks. Bye-bye.